Geiger is helping to bring some of the most beloved storybook characters ever to life in the new movie, Christopher Robin. Please welcome Ewan McGregor. That was enough to break the seal. Now Sarah's crying. <laughs> That's so nice. So nice Congratulations. You. Thank you so much. Good luck on your next venture. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Aww. And thank you for these. They're beautiful. Um, <laughs> so welcome back to New York. You thank spend you. a lot of time here with movies, theater, but you grew up in Scotland. Yes. What, do you remember first visiting here? Yes. I came here first the first time when I was nine years old, and my it was a massive. Um, deal from my brother and I. My parents brought us to America. We had a, my mom had a cousin who was uh, living in New York. And we came, she was flat sitting in this incredible apartment in the Upper West Side or somewhere like yeah, that. Yeah. And we came and stayed there and then did this tour down through North Carolina and South Carolina to Florida. And it wow. was just for, uh, you know, we'd never, we'd been to Europe now and again, but to come to America was an amazing i never forget it, how it felt. And Hold then to learn that the apartments don't look that big when you live here. <laughs> no, <laughs> when you're not nine as well. Yeah. 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 Yes, so, exactly. I'd like to know, she said you were raised in Scotland yes. in some place called Creef, rhymes with grief. Yes, Creef. Okay, and um, I understand that you dropped out of school, yeah. high school, right? With your parents' blessings. Yes. So you could pursue acting. That's very unusual. It was a very um, brave decision for them, I think. And they were teachers. They were both teachers. What made them do it? They just knew that I wasn't... They knew that this is all I'd ever wanted to do. I wanted my uncle as an actor, Dennis Lawson, and he'd... I had always looked up to him and wanted to be... I suppose, from the age of nine, I wanted to be an actor. So I suppose I just wanted to be like him. Yeah. I, I couldn't have known what it meant, really. And then... But, I, but that's all I ever wanted to do. And I wanted to... At school, I wanted... I was only interested in creative things, and I, I was only interested in things where I could express myself, like music or art yeah, or... Sure. And then they wouldn't let me do that. They, you know, they didn't... They said, you've got to choose... At a certain age, I can't remember, 14, <laughs> 15 or 14, we had to choose subjects. And they said, well, you can't do art and music because you're just copping out, they said. Oh, and I uh. said, well, that's all I'm interested in. So I had to choose one, and I just became unhappy. And then I, start, I got in, I suppose I would get in trouble. And... But don't you guys go to RADA and those drug, uh, academy of dramatic arts? Yes, but I was too young. Get a lot of schooling. Oh. I was yeah, too young. Yeah. No, yes, I was too young. And from where I came from... It was very, I was just assumed I would have to wait till I was 18, like my brother had done before me. Right. And then I was driving into the local town creek one night with my mum, and, and it, I remember it was raining and the windscreen wipers were <laughs> flapping, and, and she just turned to me and said, I've spoken to your dad, and if you want to leave school, you can. And I was only just 16. Yeah. Wow. And um, a week later, I had a job in the local repertory theatre working backstage, and I became part of the stage crew oh. there for six so months. And, and, and so it I was worked off. out for yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but it was a risk. I mean, I, I, I look yeah. at it now as a father myself. Mm -hmm. And there was a moment where my eldest, who, Clara, who's now 22, when she was 16 at school, she wanted to be a photographer. And there was a moment where she went, well, I, I'm not interested in school anymore. And I was so conflicted. I thought, well, I've spent my whole life telling this story about how brave my parents <laughs> were. And I thought, I don't know that I can do it. You know? <laughs> what did you do? She didn't, she didn't, she, it didn't last very long and she did complete <laughs> Luckily, school and she went to university and she just finished, yeah. But it does work out for some kids. I it mean, does. I, you know, you I, told, I told, I told, I'd tell a similar story because uh, I'm dyslexic and just couldn't follow stuff. And yes. my mother said, look, I'd rather know where you are. So here are the things you have to do if you're not going to go to school. Right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, people said, well, how can you try? She said, that's my daughter. If, she's, if I told her this is where she needs to do, this is what she did. Yeah. So it works for some, not for everybody. We're not saying everybody should do it, but it does work for some. Yes. Anywho. Yes. <laughs> I knew what it was I wanted to do, and yeah. they could see that, and they could see I wasn't happy. I was yeah. just becoming unhappier and unhappier, yeah. and I wasn't getting what it was I, I, I needed to become yeah. an actor, I suppose. Well, you, you are playing the title character. <laughs> <laughs> Christopher Robin. Oh, uh, so good. In the movie Christopher Robin. Um, so it's, yes. it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful story about the real Christopher Robin. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's kind of in a funny way, the woman whose dad had Charlie McCarthy. Candace, Candace Bergen, Bergen Candace tells Bergen. this amazing story of having to grow up next to what is essentially a puppet. She uh, thought he was and, her brother. Well, yeah. 
-hmm. So Christopher Robin sort of the real Christopher Robin sort of had some of these same issues yes. originally. Yeah. But what made you want to tackle this? I mean, everybody knows Pooh in England and in Scotland. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but what, what was about this? I was charmed by it. And, and it, in fact, the movie that was made last year is more about the real Christopher Robin, right. Farewell to, or right. Goodbye to Christopher Robin, right. which was a beautiful film. But I'm really playing a Milne's Christopher Robin. I'm yes. really playing the... The, 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 the grown-up version of the boy in the, the stories. Yeah. So oh. I just I just loved being able to take this little boy who we know and mm -hmm. and 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 play him as an adult where he's got where life has happened to him mm -hmm. and he's not very uh, happy and satisfied. He's been you see a sort of montage at the beginning of the movie because the film starts oh, yes. with the little boy at the right. beginning. And the creatures are having a farewell party for Christopher Robin, and it's heartbreaking. It's so beautifully done, though. Oh, it's lovely. It's like a lovely. lot of Disney movies, it starts with quite a sad mm -hmm. beat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we see Christopher Robin's life, and then we catch up to him after he's, you know, gone through uh, boarding school and um, university and fallen in love and become married, but then having to go to the Second World War and fight in the Second World War. Oh, yes. And then we come back and we find him in a job he's responsible for a lot of people not losing their jobs because right. it's after the Second World War. I'm just telling a little, yeah. a little. So he's anyway. He's not quite you're quite right. I'm like doing the, the he commercial. He doesn't even love the, the job. He's well, not very he happy in his job, and, got, and he's not happy. We got so a clip. It was, it was yeah. interesting. We show play. a clip. Stop talking. Stop talking. Who do you think you might be able to amuse yourself for a while? I've got some rather pressing work to do. House, clouds, house. Tree, bush, a man, dog. Who? What are you doing? Oh, I'm playing a game. It's called Say What You See. Well, could you say what you see a little more quietly? House, grass, trees, pond. Oh. <laughs> a kid, the voice, of, who's doing the voice of, of Pooh? Jim Cummings. Jim okay. Cummings, okay. And he did the voice of the, of the, from the cartoons in the 80s, you know? Okay. Oh. So yeah. he, so yeah. he is, very, very, is yeah. our familiar so Pooh voice, yeah. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Um, I, it's so beautifully done. You know what else is beautifully done that I just have to talk about is the Star Wars trilogy. I mean, I'm sitting next to Obi-Wan, oh. right? Oh. Um, <laughs> The young Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yes, Obi -Wan Kenobi. Yes, right. Now there have been, there has been a lot of talk about maybe you coming back. Yeah. If George Lucas calls you, are you in? Yes, I, I would yes. totally do it, of course. Oh. The, yeah. Oh. yeah. There's no there's no plans as such to do it uh, as far as I know. But I've been it's so funny, I've been asked this question for years and years. It's... And of course I would be happy to do it. I think there must be a good story to tell. As they're doing spin-offs, there should there, yes. there's likely to be a good Obi-Wan between maybe me and Alec Guinness in that there time. There must yeah. be. But um, yeah, but yes. I've, I've answered yes so many times. It looks like I'm sort of touting for work at Disney's <laughs> door. No, you know what I, I mean? know that you're, no, we're, you're quite <laughs> busy. Your it's fine. <laughs> a big yeah. thank you to you and McGregor. Thanks for thanks for being my last guest on the View. Oh. Disney's Christopher Robin opens nationwide tomorrow, and thank you for the flowers. <laughs> Best date yeah. I ever had, or never had. We'll be right back. <laughs>